I often get asked this question, what is the difference between estate jewelry and antique jewelry? Well, basically I could say it like this. All antique jewelry is estate jewelry, but not all estate jewelry is antique. And what I mean by that is, estate kind of is a, another name for pre-owned. You know, we like to say previously loved. We, we, um, what it means is, if someone passes on or someone has a piece of jewelry they don't want anymore or they want to trade, it's considered a state. What that means is that it's had a previous owner. Whether that owner passed away or decided to sell it really doesn't mean that much of a difference because the meaning is just the same. Estate jewelry comes in all kinds of different brands. It comes in, you know, bracelets, uh, kind of like, you know, diamond bracelets, gemstone bracelets, diamond rings, gemstone rings. However, I will tell you this. Most diamond solitaires don't fall into the estate jewelry area because what it is is it's a diamond that most people put into a new mount. So we got a little bit off topic there, but the difference is I would say that estate jewelry primarily, primarily refers to used or previously owned jewelry. Now antique jewelry is different. Antique jewelry has a value attached to it above and beyond the stone and metal value because of what it is. You might have a nice piece of Victorian jewelry or Etruscan jewelry, and those are styles. Those are how it's made. You might have something that has nice old rose cut diamonds on it. You could also have something that has old cut or transitional diamonds or European style diamonds. All those indicate antique jewelry, meaning that the piece is probably at least 100 years old. Um, a lot of this has filigree work, and the difference between filigree work today and in the old days is, quite honestly, a lot of these jewelers that were doing this intricate filigree work or this intricate antique jewelry work, their sons went on to be doctors and lawyers, and they didn't pass down this knowledge. So a lot of this antique jewelry cannot be replaced or reproduced these days without an extreme cost. So it makes a nice piece of antique jewelry worth quite a bit more. Keep in mind that if you do have a piece of antique jewelry and it has Tiffany or Van Cleef and Arpels or Cartier stamped in it, it could catapult the value from two to three to four times of what the piece would normally be worth. So keep in mind that your antique jewelry is a very interesting, large market and that it basically indicates something that has some kind of artistic value, antique value, a better maker name. And again, I don't feel diamond solitaires fall into that because diamonds are mil millions of years old and most diamonds that we buy and get in here are taken out of the old mounts, put in new mounts, and you basically have a new piece of jewelry. So again, you kind of know, know what I said. Antique jewelry is estate jewelry, but not all estate jewelry is antique jewelry. Thank you. All right, it's been great. A lot of information, a lot of questions answered. Remember, this is all off the cuff. So if you have specific questions, please feel free to email us, text us, call us. Remember, include any pictures, dimensions. The more information you give us, the better we can do to get you information back. Keep in mind, it may take 24 to 48 hours to get it back to you, but we'll do the best we can. And of course, we want to buy the merchandise, but there's no charge for any of the information we give, and there's no expectations, so feel free with, any, with no pressure to get us any questions. Thank you very much.